Okay, so it may not be computer generated sequence like in Inception or graphic effects like in Marvel's Doctor Strange, but using the mirror effect can produce some pretty unique shots, especially when taken from a drone. What's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here. And today this will be a very basic intro slash tutorial of how the mirror effect works and some basic manipulations that can be made to create that unique point of view. So let's get into it. All right, I'm in 2018 CC right now and I have my clip selected and what we want to do first off, this is a 4K clip. What I wanna do is I wanna bust it down to 1920 size. That's right, 1920 by 1080p. So I am doing this because the file size gets outrageous once you start to mirror things. So just to uh, create a simpler means of workflow, there we go, 50%. It's in frame now, and what that's going to allow us to do is we'll be able to punch in if needed and not lose any clarity as long as we don't punch in too close. So continuing on, we're going to click on our sequence here. We're going to go to effects. We are going to type in mirror. There it is. We are going to double click on it, and now we have our mirror up here selected in our effects controls. Now what this is going to allow us to do is going to allow us to change our reflection point, the center of the reflection, which if you click on the mirror, it's going to create a blue dot, which you can see right here. And this will allow you to drag the mirrored clip and you will be able to customize it like this. If you bring it over too much, obviously since it's just a mirror, you're going to start to take the image away. You can adjust the center line there and if you notice if you move the reflection center up and down nothing changes but if you move the reflection center left and right that is what actually drags the clip over so we're going to leave it over here on the right side and here's our reflection center this is our keys and you can drag over just like how you would if you just grabbed the blue crosshairs there so we're going to bring it back over to 3840 it is sized like it's 4k so don't worry about that so 3840 now the reflection angle the reflection angle we are in a 16 by 9 rectangular format but picture the reflection angle like a compass like the needles on a compass 306 degrees worth of rotation both positive and negative so if you wanted to do let's say negative 90 degrees rotation that's going to bring everything crumpling in on top of each other and you can also type it in if you would want and you can get that interesting mirrored ceiling look and of course you can rotate it and that's why i said if you wanted to punch it in a little bit you can do so you can rotate it to where your image looks flat instead of crooked if you see here the image is kind of flawed so you can do this prior to putting in the mirror effect or you can do this now and you can get it how you want it and then here in the scale you can just punch it in to get the effect or the look that you're going for keep in mind this is just a very basic introduction to the mirror effect the mirror effect in fact is very powerful very awesome you can do a lot of things with it um, but I just wanted to introduce it in this one video and in future videos we'll be going more in depth with what this has to offer. Um, it can basically make the world look like it's flat and everything's falling off of it. You can do a lot of things. So it's very cool in that aspect. So if you wanted to scrub through the playhead here, as you can see there's a car moving both on the top and bottom. And as we scrub through the image is changing and distorting, kind of giving us that unique an interesting perspective there so obviously this isn't going to be used for every video clip you have especially if you're just doing basic stuff like this you know just key it in yeah i find this very interesting very trick uh, inception style and doctor strange style although this is without the extreme computer graphics processing this is just a basic uh, a basic solution to a complex problem so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and interesting. If you did, smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, as always. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I appreciate your support, as always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.